Hi guys and welcome back. In this video, I'm just going to share a quick update on my Robinhood portfolio and my trades that I made today. But before I continue, just want to let you know that I am not a financial advisor. This is just for entertainment purposes only. I also started a Patreon Discord page where I'm trying to find like-minded people like myself who is interested in making money in the stock market. We already have 40 members in there and we would love for you to come join us. Let's grow our portfolios together. I'm trying to grow this portfolio to $100,000 by the end of this year. So let's see if we can do that. If we take a look at my one year, it is up 56%. All time high is 56%. I do post my trades daily. So don't forget to subscribe and hit that like button. I also started a 10K challenge that I did earlier today. I sold cash to care put in that account. It was on SOS. So check that out. SOS has been my go-to for selling options. We take a look here. We have a lot of SOS cash secure puts. So when we're selling a cash secure put, it's essentially saying that we want to buy a stock at a specific price. So instead of just setting a buy limit, why not sell a cash secure price at that price that you want to get it at and collect a premium for it. But here's the thing with cash secure puts, you need to be able to put aside the collateral. The collateral is calculated by 100 times the strike price. So think of the strike price as your buy price. If we take a look at, this is a 550 strike price. So we needed to have $550 for this option. So when I sold this option, the stock was trading above 550, but that's okay because I received a $90 premium. It's a very generous premium, making my break even price that we see here to 460. So as long as SOS is above 460, I will be profitable. What I can do if I don't want to get a sign, meaning if the stock closes below 550 on Friday, because that's when my option expires, I can roll the contract over to next week. So if you guys have Robinhood, this is what you can do to roll over your breached contracts. We have to select at the very top right we have to buy back the put first. So this is a 550, buy it back. Now we're going to select next week, which is April 16. We're going to sell the same strike price, which is 550. Two options selected. We're going to receive a total credit of $38 by rolling it over to the following week. If you don't get a premium and it says you have to pay, you can just keep rolling it over to the next week so april 23rd this is a strategy if your contract is breached and you don't want to get assigned so i do have a lot of those three contracts sos and then i have one that expires next friday so now today i made a yolo bet on amc this is 11 strike price. This is a call option. So instead of me receiving a premium, I actually had to pay the premium. So this one only cost me $4. I bought five contracts and I paid $20 altogether for five contracts. So we take a look at this delta is 0 0.10. So it's not great. We want a delta that's close to one. So every time AMC goes up and down $1, this contract will only go up $10. So it's not great. And we think, take a look at the data. The data is 0 0.08. So tomorrow it's going to lose about $8 per contract. So I'm already losing money. This one expires tomorrow. So it's a YOLO bet. Let's see where AMC is at. AMC is at $9.72. So right now it's having a hard time breaking the $10 resistance. Hopefully tomorrow we get some big news and it can go to $11. So I can make some money on this call options that I bought. So let's see if that happens. And then we have some BlackBerry cover calls. 
If you guys have 100 shares of the underlying stock, it can be AMC, BlackBerry, any stocks that has options, you can sell cover calls against your shares and collect a premium. So I was able to receive $16 on each contract. So I have eight contracts. I already made $104 especially with AMC. I know a lot of people are holding AMC and they're scared that their shares are going to be taken away, but we checked out the last month. It hasn't gone above $15. And I will only sell cover calls if the stock is going up, not when it's going down. We want to be selling cash secure puts when the stock is going down. Now we have a lot more cash secure puts. We have BNGO, JAGX, Nano Dimension. We can see it's not a lot of money, Let's see, Sands is a cash of care put. I was able to get $25. It expires next week. And all I had to put up for Sands was $250 to collect $25. That's a 10% return. You might think that's not a lot of money, but it adds up. And especially if you're starting out and you have a very small account, you guys can do this as well. So we have AMC leap calls leap calls are call options that are longer than one year I bought amc call options back in december when no one was talking about amc and luckily i sold seven contracts back in january when we had that squeeze all the way to twenty dollars i made about ten thousand dollars on this and now we have stocks I have AMC shares, 200 shares. We have Nikola that has not been doing well at all. I have a pretty high cost basis and I wanna just wait before I start buying more. Not sure where Nikola is gonna go in the next year or so, but I'll just hold on to my shares as long as I can. Vaxart, I don't know what to say about Vaxart anymore. It's been a disappointment. Blackberry as well got caught on the upside. This is why I try to stay away from meme stocks, FOMO stocks, because this is what will happen. My average cost is 1302, and when I try to average down, what happens? It keeps going down. So I'm just going to take it easy, sit back, and just wait for the stock to hopefully go up. We have Sans, Nokia, Nano Dimensions, Sundial hasn't been doing well as well, JagX, Luquan, and Sergio. So a lot of these stocks are down. So my strategy is to sell cash to care puts, generate that extra income, and then sell more contracts and generate the income. So we have to keep doing that over and over to build up our portfolio. That's what I'm going to do. Same thing with my 10K portfolio. I'm going to be selling cash to care puts and selling cover calls. That's pretty much it, guys. I still have $2,700 in my buying power. I just haven't found the right stocks or the right options to sell or buy. And that's okay. We don't have to keep buying everything every single day. The more we buy, the more we lose. That's what I think from experience. So sometimes we just have to sit back and watch the markets. That's pretty much it. Thank you so much for watching, guys. Let me know how you did today. And do consider joining that Patreon Discord page. I'm going to find people where we can talk about stocks, cryptocurrency, and options, and just growing as a community and growing our accounts together. Trading, investing can be lonely. And you just want to be able to do it with a community. So do consider joining the Patreon page. Thanks so much. Hi there. If you are interested in helping out the channel, you can sign up for Weeble if you haven't already. They are currently offering two free stocks now. It used to be four. So you don't want to wait until it gets to one free stock or no stocks at all. So you get one free stock when you open up a Weeble account. And when you deposit $100 or more, you get one more free stock, which is valued between $8 and $1,600. And if you are transferring from another brokerage, they will reimburse you the fees up to $100. And you will also receive a complimentary three-month subscription 
to level two events NASDAQ total view from the day you sign up. So guys, what are you waiting for? Two free stocks are waiting for you.